Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna do a little quick unboxing video. We're outside at the park. I am just hanging out, waiting for my kid to get done with soccer, and then we're going to gymnastics. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I feel like I spend more time moving my kids around from sport to sport than fishing. If you can relate to that, hit that thumbs up or leave me a comment if that's the life you live. But what we're doing, I got a little unboxing here from Omnia Fishing, grabbing some more stuff, prepping for the national championship coming up here in a few weeks. So we're gonna do another quick unboxing video. Uh, and see what I ordered. Do you guys ever order stuff and then not remember what you ordered and it's kind of like you black out and then when it shows up in the mail a day or two later from Omnia that uh, let's see what we got. Grab the Arsenal scissors. I love the sound of like popping tape when you open a box. Got a little note from Omnia. Thank you for the order. Enjoy. Yeah, we'll see what we got here. Ah, see there's something in there that literally was on the list that I had forgot that I ordered. One of the things that I did is I went through my fluorocarbon and braided line and mono and everything. If you remember the last unboxing video last week, I ordered some mono, but then I realized I needed some fluorocarbon. Lo and behold, got some 20 pound Seaguar and Vesex in a bulk 600 yard spool. And to come to find out, it was in the bargain bin at Omnia. It was already marked 20% off. And then I used my code and got a little extra off. Uh, if you guys don't know the code, it's down in the description below. But uh, you can get over 30% off on this spool, 600 yard, 20 pound Vezex Seaguar at Omnia right now. As long as you're not watching this video like six months from now, you can probably score that deal. Links in the description below for any of this stuff if you're interested. Some of you might already saw that Seaguar deal on my Instagram. I post a lot of deals of like things that come in to, to Omnia or other places that are good deals on Instagram. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, uh, Hella Bass on Instagram, it's a good follow, and I'm always giving away good tips, deals on stuff that you can score. It might cost you a little money if you follow me, because you might be tempted to spend some money on some of this tackle. But otherwise, a lot of behind the scenes stories, stuff like that, uh, Instagram practice, travel stories, things like that. So it's pretty entertaining, and uh, look forward to seeing you more on Instagram. All right, so we should be good. 20 pound, fluorocarbon, flipping, uh, cypress trees, all that stuff. Uh, I trust Seaguar and Physics for that. The other thing is, I grabbed a couple other spools, 16 and 18 pound fluorocarbon. I don't use these quite as much, but I didn't have any, so I want to get a refill on these. And uh, so I grabbed some of these in FC Sniper because I like that very much as well. Restocking line, didn't want to be scrambling around when I was down in Monroe, Louisiana looking for line. I wanted to make sure I had it packed with me. All right, the next thing I grabbed, so I got a couple packs of these G Force Gamagatsu Eric Martin's trailer hooks. These are new trailer hooks that he came out with, designed specially to hang on your hooks it always sits position i've tried one pack of these been pretty impressed so far i figure there's a good chance i'll be fishing spinner baits buzz baits things like that and if it's not too gnarly a cover i will be running trailer hooks on some of that stuff to make sure that i get every bite in the boat on those spinner baits and buzz baits these are pretty sick buzz bait spinner bait trailer hooks uh and i definitely dig these so check these out if you're looking for a good spinner bait trailer hook and they got these really nice little rubber keepers which are really solid all right, then these next two kind of things kind of go together. I guess we'll start with these. I grabbed three packs of worms, one green pumpkin. These are the Fat Nico, five inch Nico Fat Diva worms. They have a, a really unique profile where they're kind of fat at the head up here, kind of tail down the bulb. They're designed to be rigged with a nail weight here and then running a Nico hook up in here. Kind of thinking, you know, things get tough. If they're not eating jigs or creatures, I might need to finesse them. And a Nico rig actually comes through cover pretty good, a lot better than like wacky rigs, Ned rigs, things like that. And I can tend to fish them on slightly heavier line. I've caught fish like 12, 14, 15 pound line on bait casters with a Nico rig. So I've got some green pumpkin. Grab two bags of the black fleck. Just give you another look at the black worm there. I think in the dirty water, these are about the only two colors I will need. So uh, this is kind of a backup emergency plan if I'm in an area where I've gotten bites in practice or feel like the fish are there, yet they're not cooperating. That's gonna be something I'm gonna try down in the bayou. And then to go with those, picked up some finesse Nico hooks, one not to rig these, both either traditional Nico style or actually rig them on the chicken rig or the baby child rig where you actually rig the Nico rig weedless so it comes through cover even better. If you're not familiar with that or have no idea what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll actually make a video about the rig, how you fish a weedless Nico. If unboxing videos are your jam and you want to see more, check out last week's unboxing video right here.